Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disneyland and it is officially the end of the D23 Expo, my last day in California. So I wanted to come out and enjoy the parks a little bit, ride some of my favorite rides, eat some of my favorite food, and also recap you guys on my overall experience at my very first D23 Expo. Talk about all of the announcements from the Disney Parks panel and just have a beautiful California kind of day. Anywho's, Let's go do this. I wanted to start my day off in Disneyland, but I have a prior park reservation at Disney's California Adventure, and we're gonna have to wait to park hop. That's something I was hoping they would have announced at the D23 Expo, that they were getting rid of the park reservation system, but sadly, they did not. Even though there were a lot of things I wish that they did announce at the D23 Expo, uh, I still had an amazing time. It's something I've always wanted to do, and it was my very first one, and there's only one Disney 100, so we were here for that Expo, and I'm still very honored that I got to attend. But we'll talk about all the things, and talk about the things that I liked, and a couple of more of the things that I wish they would have announced, but mainly I just want to enjoy a day in the park. Even though I did want to go to Disneyland, there are a couple of things over here at California Adventure that I'm excited that I get to do one more time before we actually have to make our way to the airport. I have to tell you, I have been in just go mode the second I landed in the California from the plane. I've averaged like three hours of sleep each night. And then my hotel Wi-Fi, they had some issues and there was no Wi-Fi in the whole entire hotel. So I wasn't able to keep on posting as much as I wanted to do and stay up to date. So these videos might be like a couple days after the expo, but uh, yeah, it was a fun experience, but my dogs are barking, my feet hurt. I really do love the atmosphere of Disney's California Adventure. If I would have to pick uh, like three rides that are a must here, it's got to be the Incredicoaster, Guardians of the Galaxy, and then Radiator Springs. Like, I want to get those done. Oh, look at there goes the Incredicoaster right now. We're gonna actually start riding some rides now, but I thought it'd be cool to recap you on my experiences and thoughts at the D23 Expo just throughout the video and tell you things that I loved and things I wish they would have announced. But first of all, Happily Ever After coming back was such an amazing announcement. I was so, I'm so excited that it's coming back. And the way that they announced it, we were in Hall D23 and the lights just went off and then all of a sudden Jordan Fisher started singing Happily Ever After. And at that moment, I knew it was coming back. They didn't announce it, but I knew and the crowd went crazy. It was like thunder in there, and it was such a great experience. I got chills, so that was a highlight for me right there. Looks like we're just in time to catch the amazing Spider-Man come soaring through the air here. Definitely something you gotta stop and watch. I always stop and see Spidey whenever he swings through the sky like that. I think it's still so amazing. Now I think we're gonna head over to Incredicoaster. I only got to ride this at night, so I really wanna ride it during the day. And then also, we do have a Blue Bayou dining reservation, but it's cutting it a little close to our flight time, so I'm not too sure if we're gonna make it, but I'm really hoping we do because I've never eaten there before. I was fortunate enough to ride this ride when it was California Screaming, and honestly, I love the Incredicoaster. It is so good, look at this. Oh, I can't wait. It is such a fun ride. I decided on getting the uh, Genie Plus, and it still trips me out how we have to actually scan to use the Lightning Lane, because I'm still used to my uh, Magic Band, but you just put it in like this, and bada bing, bada boom. Oh boy. Oh boy.
Amazing. That is such an amazing ride. I love it so much. I think I like it better at night though because like you see all the lights a little bit more and now I think we're gonna go celebrate with a uh, drink at the Lamplight Lounge. Another really cool place to actually hang out down here at Pixar Pier. Look at the seat we got here, Kristen. Wow. That's a view, if I ever see That's a view right there. What a view. I can tell you now this is really shaping up to be a pretty epic day. If we were able to start off by riding in Credit Coaster, hanging out here at the Lamplight Lounge, then we're gonna go ride Guardians, hop to Disneyland, maybe Blue Bayou, maybe some rides over there. I'd be happy with this being my last day over in California. Like, I'm loving the vibe right now. Here is a look at the menu at the Lamplight Lounge Boardwalk Dining. I actually got a walk-up uh, reservation for this, and they are known for their really cool-looking drinks. And then they have some good uh, shorts to share. Chili ginger pork belly sliders. I think I've had them before. Pork belly Brussels sprouts, chorizo nachos, a lot of good stuff. But you're just paying for the view, like I said. This is just so breathtaking. I don't know why. I love it so much. Our drinks have arrived. I ended up getting the Mickey Fun Wheel because I just think it's so cool. But Kristen got the what? The Open Ocean. The Open Ocean. It's like a blue raspberry slurpee with alcohol. It's delicious. I definitely made a mistake. I mean, that looks so good. There we go. So good. Very strong, though. Very, very strong. And it's definitely a fun wheel. I also like the way it drops, too. Now our food has arrived. I ended up getting the pork belly sliders, which looks so good. It's like a baguette. Like, that is huge. I thought they were going to be little tiny. Because, you know, when you order sliders, you think, like, little tiny sliders. And then you got the moho chicken fries. Yes. And that looks phenomenal, too. This food is, like, A++. And we didn't even eat it yet. People eat with their eyes first, though. So I'm pretty sure I'm already going to love it. I literally got these because I thought I was going to get like two little sliders and I was not expecting this, but we're giving it a go. I think I had this last time and it didn't look like this, so it definitely did not look like this. Oh, wow. These are so good. Phenomenal. Definitely has a little kick to it. You can feel the burn, but... Wow, A+. Plus. A+, plus, I tell you. I just love sitting up here, though. It is so amazing. I don't want to leave, but we do have to get the Guardians of the Galaxy. Incredicoaster down. Lamplight Lounge down. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy. I have to say, those pork belly sliders were phenomenal. I absolutely love them, but I really hope we can catch Blue Bayou. So, that's why I didn't eat a lot, and we shared them between each other so that we didn't have to get full, because if we do make it to Blue Bayou, I'm going to do some work. I really wanted to ride cars, but it's been closed all day long. So we're just going to skip over and head right on over to Guardians. And also, the uh, we're going to be doing Mission Breakout. The Monsters Unleashed one starts at 3 o'clock every single night. That was a good time. Monsters Unleashed was phenomenal. Walking through Avengers Campus, I never get to see Doctor Strange actually roaming around. Usually he's doing his little show or his ritual. That's really cool. And I think somebody else is over here. I don't know who it is. I'm gonna peek around the corner because I know we had zombie Captain America here the other day. Oh, it's Iron Man! 
I think after Guardians, we're gonna hop over to Disneyland though. Morning. Gotta get some rides in there. Wow, it is so awesome to be in here during the day and to see all the different creatures. And you can see Figment up top there. I always like to point him out. Good old Figme. Figme. I don't think anyone calls him Figme, but we're gonna see him in person at Epcot soon. That was not part of the plan. What? Oh. <laughs> of course I escaped. For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket, one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Left to right, left to right only. Yeah. Who's right. riding with Papa? <laughs> Last time we rode a ride like Tower of Terror, like this, got stuck. Oh, that's right. You guys got stuck? You were there. Oh no, he wasn't. Yeah. My dear friends, this is the moment you have been waiting for. Guardians of the Galaxy is such a thrill. I love it and I like how they have two Guardians rides that has random songs or different songs played each time. Of course you have Epcot and then you have this one over in California Adventure, but that is so cool. Now we have to get moving along. Time for Disneyland. I guess it's time to say goodbye to California Adventure and the Pacific Electric. I really wanted to ride that today, but we don't have two time, yeah. I mean, I want to ride it, but we got to get to Disneyland. We got to go uh, see if we can ride pirates. And from California Adventure, right on over to Disneyland. Actually, I wouldn't mind trying to ride the train today too. There's so much I want to do and I only have like two hours left. Makes me sad. <laughs> One of the things I was a little upset that they didn't talk about was maybe Tomorrowland here uh, at Disneyland. I thought hopefully soon they would have done something with it. You know what I mean? Either add the people mover back or honestly, I was thinking like maybe even some rocket rods, you know? Like not like entirely, but something like that. And uh, they did announce that they are going to be having a new show and a new parade and that this is going to be the focal point for Disney 100, which it should be. So I'm excited for that. And I feel like there wasn't much for Walt Disney World. You know what I mean? We got the new Epcot show, but they really didn't go in detail about the fireworks show over there. They just said happily ever after was going to be a part of it. I definitely need to come back and spend more time in Disneyland. I just get so happy walking down Main Street. Seriously. Oh, man. We're going to have to be back before the holiday season. I want to come out for Christmas time. Christmas time in Disneyland. I don't think I've ever done that before. One of the things I really wanted to do and I didn't get the chance to do last time I came to Disneyland was get some of the pumpkin spice beignets and maybe a nice mint julep. Even though we are going to uh, 
the Blue Bayou possibly, you gotta get in all the snacks that you can't have over in Walt Disney World. I also wanna ride Pirates and uh, maybe even uh, Indy, you know? When you're in Disneyland, you get dessert before dinner. That's true, that is true. In fact, I think we're gonna head right on over to the French market. We got an early uh, mobile ordering time slot to get the pumpkin beignets, and uh, then we're gonna try to ride uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, but it looks pretty busy. There's always a long line at the mint julep bar for either the New Orleans mint julep or the Mickey shaped beignets. They're both a great combination. I'm so excited for mint julep and uh, some of them man catching beignets. Look at. I'm actually wearing a Princess and the Frog uh, Roosevelt shirt. This one is a really cool one. I wanted to wear it earlier at the D23 Expo, but I didn't get the chance. And I like the concept art that they actually shared about Splash Mountain. That was a cool announcement. And the inside at the top, just before you're about to plummet, uh, it looks like there's some really cool lighting effects and I'm excited to see what that's gonna be like. Cheers to the mint juleps. Mint julep cheers. <laughs> this is gonna be so refreshing. It'll be really good in here though, perfect, honestly. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna start off with the beignets and do the pumpkin one. And it comes with a caramel coffee sauce, is that what it is? Here's first, I'm gonna dunk it right in there. Oh, that must be too good. I should have done it on its own first to see what it tasted like. I done goofed. I'm Here we go. Ooh. Oh wow. The sauce is where it's at. The sauce is the best thing, wow. I didn't even realize, but we ate those beignets so fast. They were good though. They were good. The pumpkin spice, I mean, it didn't taste overly pumpkin. But this sauce is what really did it for me. I like the coffee sauce. I like it. It's a little bit, uh, I don't know. It's a little bit. I, I like all the seasonal beignets, though. Got to come back and try the holiday, like the I Christmas try ones. The banana beignets. That's not even hooked up to anything, Kristen. Your microphone is, you're holding the cable in your hand. When the mic is in my hand, I talk into it. Yep. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> All right, now that we've gotten the beignet business taken care of, I think we're going to be able to go to the Blue Bayou. I think we're going to have enough time, and it's right around the corner here, so uh, I'm excited. And also, uh, if you're not too uh, aware of what the Blue Bayou is, it's right in New Orleans Square here, and it's kind of like um, the Mexico restaurant in Epcot, where you, the Grand Fiesta tour goes through it, but this one has Pirates of the Caribbean that goes through it. So we're definitely gonna ride Pirates afterwards and enjoy maybe some jambalaya. It's also located right next to Club 33 and it's really, really fancy. Look at this. It's got little BBs for the Blue Bayou. I like this a lot. Kevin's actually in here today too. Ooh, I wonder what this is. Is this the guest list? Huh? Nathan? That's me. Yeah, Maro? Yeah, very fancy. Yeah, are we ready to eat? Oh, all right. Yeah, well, have a seat. You're already eating. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to call us so fast, but it's time to go. Now, it is going to be very dark in there because you're in a very dark setting, but it is a lot of fun, and I've watched videos, and like I said, this is one of the restaurants that I've been wanting to eat for years, so... Today's the day. We're doing a lot of new things on this trip and I'm excited to keep on doing a lot more. Here is a look at the menu. We've got some chicken gumbo, a blue bayou salad. They've got some chicken jambalaya, fava beans and pistachio pesto pasta, a filet, some very good dessert, but we already had dessert. And another cool thing is, is they actually serve alcohol here. The only place in Disneyland other than uh, I think Galaxy's Edge, maybe at the other sit-down restaurants and of course in the club, but it's cool that they have that. Maybe I'll get some wine or a very nice beer. Ooh, they have this good beer here. I don't know, I'm excited. First time dining here and it's been on my list for a long time. All right, it's time to make our way in here. Look at all these nice beautiful curtains. Ooh. Mr. Famous. Oh, Mr. Yes, yes. Very excited. Thank you. Oh wow, this is my first time being here, first time. It looks so cool though. It is honestly just so cool in here. 
I love how there's like a little house right here. This is all inside the restaurant. I love the little lanterns and then the trees up here. We really are in the bayou. Bobby Boucher. I'm really thinking about just getting some chicken gumbo and some chicken jambalaya and make a little jumbo. A little jumbo or a gumbo laya. Yeah. A gumbo laya. You know what, guys? I, I mean, I have to. <laughs> I know that we just had a mint julep, but they have a 31 Royal Street signature julep here, and I'm kind of interested in what that is. And it's really cool because this address is 31 Royal Street, and we're right next to uh, 33 Royal Street. Yeah, you know what that is. Yes. Fancy, fancy, Bob's huh? Office. <laughs> I'm sure it's really, really dark, but you can see people starting to ride pirates right now. Isn't that so awesome? I love this part right here. Actually, I like Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland a lot better than I like the one over in Disney World. So hopefully we're gonna be able to ride it. I really can't pass up the opportunity to have a drink inside Disneyland, especially in a restaurant like this. So I went with the uh, the beer, the draft beer, but they did bring out some of the uh, 31 mint julep and it's a blood orange one. They brought it out for us to try, which is really cool. And it's not bad. It's actually, it's really good. I just had a whole mint julep though. We got a round of gumbos for the table and also we got our drinks. Kristen, what'd you get? A hurricane? I got the hurricane. Gotta do it. You gotta get the hurricane. You got the hazy IPA. The boat shoe. Yep. I like these glasses though. They're very fancy. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers. Not with the drinks, with the gumbos. <laughs> nice. Cheers. Fancy. Oh, that's so good. Wow. I have to say, the color of this gumbo has me very intrigued. Look at that. I am very, very intrigued. People said the gumbo is amazing here, so we're going to find out. Nice big chunks of chicken. Look at that. That's a nice, good helping of gumbo right there. Here we go. I'm so excited. I am like really, really excited for this right now. Now, I've never had any of, you know, gumbo from New Orleans, like real New Orleans. I've never been there, but I can say that I think this might be my all-time favorite gumbo. I really, really like it. I like the portion size of the chicken and the overall texture, and it's not too dark. Usually gumbo is a lot, a lot darker. This is like more of a, like a chickeny color. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't make sense. That gumbo really didn't stand a chance. I ate it so much, like so fast. It was amazing. And the combination of gumbo and beer, I can't wait till the jambalaya gets here. Oh. Try the gumbo, it's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask Barbosa. Oh boy, the jambalaya has arrived and it looks phenomenal. We got Four shrimp, two sausages, two chicken. The rice is in there. This is on another level, I have to say. Another level. I can't wait to dive in. All right, I'm going in for my first bite here. I cannot wait to try it. I'm not getting any of the meats. I'm just going for the, basically the uh, rice and the sauce here. It's good. All right, now let's try some of this sausage here. I'm gonna just flip the sausage around right like this. There we go. Take that, grab a little of this, a little of that. There we go, chicken. I really don't taste any seasoning on the chicken. It kind of just tastes like boiled chicken. But now, grab one of these big old shrimps. That's Keon don't. Very good. Yeah, the skin made this mess. Like. Honestly, yeah, the chicken is my least favorite thing. I would have just gotten the shrimp and the sausages if I could. I wonder the next time if I come here if I can be like, hey, can I get no chicken, extra shrimp, or no extra sausage? I wonder if they do Hold things the like that. Hold the chicken. Yeah, chicken's out there good. Yeah. The sausage is real good. 
Can I get a chicken for a hen? <laughs> a hen for a ten. A hen for a ten. Two for, <laughs> two for one. A two for one. We're just cracking inside jokes and also pirates jokes at the same time. <laughs> Truthfully, this is a very good jambalaya, especially with the shrimp, but I feel like for the price point, the French market jambalaya is like a lot better. It's very, very delicious out there, and I think you can get three of them for the same price. You can like get three orders of jambalaya for the same price as this. But not the view. But not the view. Or the beer. Or the shrimp. Oh, now I truly am very full that was really really good like i said the gumbo was the best part of the meal and the jambalaya it was okay but i would have rather just gotten like an extra helping over at the french market and uh it was still awesome just to be able to say i finally ate at the blue bayou and uh, now we're gonna ride some more rides maybe pirates maybe alice maybe space mountain i mean anything is possible Looks like there's a lot of people in line to ride Pirates. Not too sure what the wait time is, but we're gonna take a peek see here. I love the way Pirates is set up here. It's completely different from Walt Disney World. Oh, and look at that shot of Big Thunder Mountain. Yonder across the river. Oh, maybe it's not too bad. I see a bunch of rope jumpers though. Rope jumpers. Ba -dum -bum -bum. Sounds like a new uh, Law and Order. <laughs> Now we're gonna go ride the ride that we just saw while we were eating our dinner. The ride that was in the restaurant that we were just eating at. All that gumbo. All that gumbo. Now we can see where we were eating. Yep, we can see where we were eating. Look at this cool sign. New Orleans Square, Pirates of the Caribbean. Sail with the tide, a thrilling adventure cruise through dark, mysterious caverns where dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Barbusa. Barbusa. <laughs> oh, sir. Do I have to cross over? <laughs> oh, here we go. We're heading back into the Blue Bayou. There it is. That's where we just had lunch. If someone's at our table. Oh, they are. Someone's already sitting at our table. Get off my chair. They didn't even let us ride the ride without replacing us. Can't even believe that. to be the real skull up there. Wait, on the headboard? Yeah. On the headboard? Yeah. No. Look at it.
Pirates is so amazing. Way better than the one that we have in Walt Disney World. So many more scenes. I mean, our animatronics are a little bit better. And this one has three drops, which I think is so awesome. But now I think we're gonna head over to Alice in Wonderland. I'm really pushing this to the last minute. I think my flight actually leaves in maybe three, maybe four hours. And I have to get all the way to Los Angeles. So we only got one or two rides left in us before I gotta run. To get to Alice in Wonderland, we're gonna have to walk through Sleeping Beauty Castle. Oh look, and Maria's here, LBV TV. I heard you Fancy. Were be here, so I flew out. Did you? I'm leaving in an hour. Oh. <laughs> you flew all the way down. Oh, oh. Let's do one ride. Let's yeah, do one ride we'll do we one ride. <laughs> Usually, Alice in Wonderland has a very long line, and I never get to do it. But because we got a lightning lane for Indiana Jones, and it went down, we got a multi-experience, and it lists this as a redemption. I am so excited we're riding Alice right now. This is such a fun ride. It actually is a dark ride that goes outside. Look at how cool this is. Oh, it's actually, yeah. It's, it's, it's Maria's first time riding this ride and it's Sean's first time riding this ride. I've been on Alice's wild ride. First timers here. They don't even know what they're missing out on. Look at this. Ooh, oh boy. All right, I'll be two back, one up front. Thank you. Oh my god, Chris, oh. How's Papa and Mama doing back there? Good? It's a tight little squeeze back here. Are you ready for a very merry on birthday? Yes, I love to try. <laughs> Excited. Look at this. Oh, we're good now. It's great, it's great. All right, guys, we are going to Alice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh my lord. Oh. <laughs> This is so beautiful. The Royal Rose Garden. Look at this. As soon as we got outside, it just got super bright and it flushed the, the camera. But look at this. I love this. There's Matterhorn. Look at that shot of Matterhorn right there. Oh boy. <laughs> this is actually so much fun, isn't it? We're hanging on tight here. Oh boy. <laughs> here we are. We're going back inside though. The ride's not over. 
This ride is such a hit of a gem ride. I love it. And in fact, I picked it to be my last ride here at Disneyland. Now I gotta start making my way out. It's time to go home. Back to Florida. Back to Walt Disney World. <laughs> Goodbye, Sleeping Beauty Castle. I shall see you very soon. Very, very soon. As I'm making my way out of the park, I actually get to say bye to my pal here, Mickey Mouse, in his little pumpkin outfit. How cool is that? Right next to the uh, fire uh, engine right here. So cool. Disneyland is just on another level. And with that, I think we are done here today. I'm a little sad, but like I said, I really want to come back soon. Definitely for the holiday season. And D23 was amazing. Like I said, even though the panel wasn't everything we thought it would be, personally for me to be able to experience, it was absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Time to go see... I'm pretty positive that my last clip got cut off because my battery actually died when I was in Disneyland. But I am back at Walt Disney World and it's time to go pick up Gracie. So I figured I'd bring you guys along and end the vlog from there. Gracie has been staying here at the Best Friends Pet Resort right next to Disney's Port Orleans. This is a really awesome place and she stayed here a couple of times. She has a gigantic suite and she's going to be so happy to see me and I'm going to show you guys. But she's going to be so excited. I'm, I'm actually really excited to see her too. This place is so adorable though. I love all the different Disney animals and of course the big bones. It's me! It's me! Oh, it's me! <laughs> Crazy! Oh, oh, it's me! Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Huh? Oh, oh, oh. What? What? Did you miss me? Huh? What? Did you miss me? Are you happy? Whoa! <laughs> Time to go! Come on, we gotta pack up all our stuff. Let's see, I got a shirt. Gotta put that in there. Uh, yeah, gotta get that in there. You're coming in there too? Huh? We gotta grab your stuff. Why is your bed all dirty? What? <laughs> what? Are you ready to go home? Come on. Let me put this in here. Come on. Grab this guy. Get your unicorn. There we go. Come on. Were you listening to Frozen in here? Look at her. Were you listening to Frozen in here? Huh? What? What? <gasps> you miss me? Look at Gracie. Oh, oh, yes. Looks like we got a happy pup here. What, you miss me? Oh, I miss you too. Yes, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, lots of kisses, huh? <laughs> Are you happy to be home, Gracie? You want a treat? Huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh you got this over me? What are you doing? What? 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 We got this one? Oh. And with that, we are done here. Gracie is so happy to see me. I'm so happy to see her. Best friends took care of her so well. Guys, if you're looking for a dog place when you come visit Walt Disney World, you definitely want to check out Best Friends. They are absolutely amazing. And that's the end of our wonderful D23 Expo trip. And... Uh, I'm sad, like I said, I wanna go back to Disneyland already. But it was such an honor to be able to attend this year's D23. I loved it. There was a lot of announcements, a lot of buzz around everything. But the biggest thing that I was just overall happy about, and I've said this before, was just being able to attend. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.